Hi guys, Mr. Ben here. Just want to go through the investigation folio task and give you a bit more of any inform a bit, little bit more information about what you need to do. So if we just read through what you have to do, is you need to provide a, a, an essay about car safety feature uh, that has changed our lives. The idea is to use your own personal knowledge and investigate skills uh, to present your essay. So description of the assessment. Uh, investigate the safety feature that has in, uh, been incorporated into the car design. Select and thoughtfully extract your information from, right, from a variety of sources, e.g. internet, videos, books, etc. And investigate. In, your investigation on the car safety feature needs to include the following information. A thorough understanding of Newton's laws of motion and laws of energy. An explanation of the safety feature using your laws of physics a critical evaluation of the information, um, why the safety device um, for car safety should be compulsory, uh, and your knowledge of the physics proposed how the safety feature has improved the quality of our lives. And then you need to also put a bibliography in there. Um, so obviously you need to include about 750 words, it can be a little bit over, a little bit less. Uh, obviously you need to have a bibliography and I've given you a couple of weeks to do that. So here's your performance standards. So looking at what you're trying to do, um, obviously investigate, design and implement a logical coherent plan for physics investigation. Critically and logically select and consistently and appropriately acknowledge information about physics. right? And then over here, the application bit, application of physics and concepts and evidence from investigators to suggest solutions to complex problems in new and familiar contexts using appropriate physics terms, conventions, formula and equations. All right, and then you can read the knowledge and understanding stuff over here. All right, so have a look at the performance standards because that's going to give you an idea what I'm looking for and that's what I'm marking it according to. I want to show you just one thing that you can use too, and I'll, I'll put a copy of this on your um, day map, so you can actually do this. But this is one done by your 12 student looking at PT scanners. So when you have different sources, it's, this is a really good thing to incorporate with that. So this is in fact is a uh, website, all right, interactive, and the key points that were taken from the website were the patents are scanning, magnetic field run down the center of the tube. Um, atoms realign when magnetic fields so the idea of doing this is the key points are the things that you're going to use when you start writing your own essay all right and then over here it talks about the relevance of that particular website so it was quick and easy description of MRI scans it was relevant information regarding the use of MRI scanners in terms of the physics involved Minimal information regarding use of MRI scanners, for instance, when the disease. So it sort of gives you about the relevance of the information you're getting from the website. And then you can talk about the bias, okay? So the video depends on the activity of the YouTube. Um, little little is mentioned about diseases and ailments detected by these scanners. No mention of the MRIs. Overall, a fairly low degree of bias uh, based on whatever information. Credibility. All right, so looking at, given that this video is attached to a hyperlink uh, to the Washington Open MRI Center, uh, so you're looking at that possibly being quite a, um, a credible uh, source. So anyway, that's the sort of thing that you need to do, is obviously look at um, that sort of concept. You can do one of those for a couple of your resources that you use. All right, so now when we start looking at how this particular essay might look, all right, it's got to be written in terms of uh, continuous prose. And um, if I just read the first part of this for you, so you get an idea of the style of writing that you need to do. So positron emission tomography, PET is also called PET imaging or PET scan, is a non invasive painless molecular imaging technology it allows physicians to determine how organs and tissues inside the body are functioning on a molecular and cellular level. PET is a powerful diagnostic tool that is advancing our understanding 
of the underlying cause of disease and improving the way in which many diseases are detected and treated. Now notice here there is a reference to the first um, the first uh, bibliography, uh, the first source. So in terms of that, you have to be referencing to your sources in here. Right? So where you got the information from, you need to be able to show that to uh, the reader. All right? So throughout here, you can see this information is referenced to source number six. All right? So you need to be able to reference that. If you put a diagram in there, you should be referencing this to the diagram. All right, so when you do a diagram inside this thing, you should actually include that in your writing and talk to figure one. So here, when you start talking about that um, concept, all right, so where's that being talked to here? All right, so here we go. Um, so two particles annihilate each other and provide two photon gamma rays traveling opposite directions. Reference to figure one and three. Okay, so you're actually referencing that to the diagram. You're just not putting a picture in, in there and saying, well, that will just, everybody will understand what that means. You've got to actually talk to that picture inside your um, your um, written information. All right, so getting an idea about what we're doing. So that's reference three, showing you how the, these things go. Now, obviously, this is a year 12 piece of work. I want to show you how you might actually write a bit more formally because that's really the style of writing that you need to be able to do. So if I just uh, go through this pre presentation very quickly for you. Alright, so if we start looking at this one here, the airbag goes bang and stops the driver hitting the steering wheel. So if you look at the language that's used here, it's very spoken language, not very formal, and it's at the low end of the writing register. Alright, so if we look at the term nominalization, I believe that's been talked about in English for you. All right, so we've got our key nouns, we've got our pre-modifiers, and we've got our post-modifiers. So the key noun there is the airbag. All right, so who's airbag? It's the car's airbag that you'd be looking at. So if we want to write a little bit more formally with this one here, it, the language needs to be very abstract and formal and high-end. Okay? In terms of science, that's how we need to write. So if I write this particular thing, the car's airbag is deployed instantaneously in an accident and due to Newton's first law of motion will keep the driver from hitting the steering wheel as inertia causes them to continue moving forward. All right, so it's a very formal way of writing the same thing. It provides a lot of information. So what I like to try and do when I'm stretching a sentence is to put the information what the sentence is going to be about at the beginning of the sentence, foregrounding information, and then you can actually provide a lot more information in that later part of that sentence, so you can connect um, ideas. So if we look at this sort of sentence here, the seatbelt stops um, me moving forward when the car hits a tree. All right, we could write that more formally by saying when a car hits a tree and decelerates quickly, the seatbelt will provide the reaction force required to keep the driver from moving forward. I think it's a little bit more formal when we start comparing those things. All right, so when you start to look at your investigation that you have to do, um, you know, it could be about any of those features. All right, so any of those features that we're looking at, um, obviously, be something that you may be interested in. You are able to grab resources from anywhere, so you can reference uh, videos, you can obviously go collect stuff from websites like um, the RAA, um, you know, those crash sites. Um, I mean, you could use magazines, you can use newspapers, all right? So we're looking at those sort of things. You could probably get a car brochure as well. A lot of car sites actually have information about the safety features they provide uh, for that. All right, so in terms of uh, the bibliography stuff, if you want me, I can organise for um, you to, to, to be shown how to do your referencing. Uh, I think that might be a good thing to do. So I might try and organise that for you early next week. Um, and um, obviously, if you need to um, have some extra help with that, make sure you catch up with me. Um, the idea will be to, to actually get something drafted up and then send it to me so I can have a proofread of it and then I can give you some feedback on that and then obviously you can do your final presentation all right so I think that needs to be done electronically so I can actually do that uh, feedback for you as well all right so I hope this helps you um, there are some key ideas there 
but it's about writing formally. That's what you need to try and do to get an A in this particular thing.